Jaundice in the newborn. Jaundice in the newborn is the yellowish decoloration of the skin, mucous membranes, sclera, and organs due to the increased accumulation of unconjugated bilirubin in the body. The increased accumulation of unconjugated bilirubin in the body is due to the increased breakdown of RBCs and hemoglobin to heme and bilirubin. which is not balanced by the elimination of the bilirubin derivatives from the body. Jaundice in the newborn could be of the following types. 1. Physiological jaundice. 2. Pathological jaundice. The differences between the two are as follows. Physiological jaundice. Pathological jaundice. 1. Develops only after second or third day in term infants and after the third or fourth day in preterm infants. 1. Develops within the first 24 hours of life. 2. Usually disappears by the seventh day in term infants and by the ninth or tenth day in preterm infants. 2 usually persists for a longer time. 3. Serum bilirubin tested is usually less than 12 mg per deciliter in term infants and less than 15 mg per deciliter in preterm infants. 3. Usually much higher levels of serum bilirubin are seen. 4. Daily serum bilirubin rise is less than 5 mg per deciliter. 4. The daily serum bilirubin rise is usually much higher. 5. Connectorus is not present. 5. Connectorus may be present. 6. The newborn is usually healthy with normal color of the stools and urine. 6. The newborn is usually sick, pale, feeds poorly and has an abnormal color of the urine and stools. 7. Treatment is usually not required. 7. Treatment must be initiated as soon as possible. Jaundice in the newborn usually begins with the face and then moves down to the chest, abdomen, arms and legs. The extent of the jaundice can be estimated by the illustration that's been provided. Presence of jaundice in the newborn is best observed under natural light by pressing on the nose or forehead with a finger and looking for the yellowish discoloration of the skin. Jaundice can be confirmed by checking the serum bilirubin levels of the baby or by using a trancutaneous bilirubinometer. Some of the most common causes of jaundice in the newborn include ABO incompatibility in which the mother's antibodies enter the fetal circulation through the placenta, causing breakdown of blood cells in the baby. 2. Prematurity 3. Hyperthyroidism 4. Bile duct obstruction 5. Clotting disorders 6. Sepsis Cornicterus is a condition in which toxic levels of unconjugated bilirubin get deposited in the brain resulting in the yellowish staining of brain tissue and eventually necrosis. Prompt early treatment of connectorus could avert significant permanent damage. Treatment of jaundice in the newborn is done through the following measures. 1. Phototherapy, which involves the exposure of the newborn's naked skin to blue or white fluorescent light, thereby causing the breakdown of bilirubin in the body for excretion through a process known as photooxidation, home-based phototherapy treatment consists of the usage of a light-emitting pad, mattress or lamp. Provided below is a list of the bilirubin levels in the newborn and the number of hours of phototherapy required in each case. 2. Exchange transfusion, which is employed in extreme cases of jaundice in which the serum bilirubin and antibody levels 
in the blood of the newborn is removed and replaced by fresh blood from a donor. In this process, a catheter is generally inserted into the umbilical vein after the cord has been cut with a special valve then connecting this umbilical catheter to donor blood. Exchange transfusion is performed over a 45-minute to 1-hour period in which aspiration of 20 ml of the newborn blood is altered with 20 ml of blood infused from the donor. Increased breastfeeding to stimulate bowel movements as well as sufficient exposure to indirect sunlight such as placing the baby next to the window for mild cases of jaundice also help in the elimination of excess bilirubin from the body.